Hello people, I have for you today a uh, unboxing slash small comparison between this, the Bitphoenix Spectre Pro 140mm fan and my current favorite 140mm fan which is the Noctua uh, Fail, I can't remember the name um, Fuck! 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 Tell the name either First of all, let's look at the Spectre. Now, I'm holding it at an angle so you don't get reflection off it. So, let's see what they can say for themselves. Rugged dual frame construction, reinforced flam blades, ham blades, blah blah blah. Well, well, English is kind of hard today. Uh, high pressure slash CFM design, focused airflow, silent operation, and long life. So, have a look at the specs. Now, you can find this on Bitfinex's site. You can also find the specs for the Noctua on uh, Noctua's site. Okay, now let's get in the box. Let's get this baby open. Uh, I think I broke it. Yep, I broke it. I'm not sure... Oh, it was duct tape. Oh, oh. Yep, fail. Fail big time. I don't know. I keep failing today. Or every day, for that matter. Uh, metal, metal screws. Ooh, rubber screws. Oh, I like these. I love rubber screws. Now, um, this is rubber screw you get with the Bait Phoenix, and this is one you get with the Noctua. Now, I've been using some of these rubber screws on Noctua for quite a while now, and I like them. I'm curious to see how these stack up. Now, in terms of the rubber they use, I think this one, the Bait Phoenix one, is a bit harder. It's a bit more rigid. This one is a bit more softer rubber. And we'll see. Moving on. Uh, this one is one of those uh, LED turn-off thingies if you have a bit Phoenix uh, accessories and stuff like that. I'm not really going to use this because I have a Cooler Master case. 3-pin to Molex adapter and the fan itself. Now, let's see. Uh, you can see the dual frame construction. The red frame is separate from the outer uh, black frame. Now this is going to be really hard to show you because uh, the lighting is kind of shit in here. But one of the things that Bitfinex is really going on about are these blade reinforcements. They're kind of ridges on the blades. And they say that at high speed blades can warp, you know, creating vibration and extra noise. They say that these blades actually stop that uh, warping process. Another thing worth mentioning is the fact that Bitfinex claimed that this fan has a uh, focused airflow design. You know, using uh, this design on the back and the dyno blades themselves they say that they can actually focus the airflow better than other fans something like you know like the Silverstone air penetrator or stuff like that now you know I don't really have a way to test that you know so I'm gonna take a word for it you can see we have a sleeved black cable or sorry not sleeved it's actually the wires themselves are black now this is very very good you, you know you if you install the fan like this, you can see you can't even see colors over here where the fan, when the, where the cables leave the fan. Now, in terms of aesthetics, I think that Beast Phoenix has done a fantastic job. The biggest problem with these Noctua fans is the color. I mean, you can get you know the Beat Phoenix one. This one is a LED red one. You can get it, uh, you know, just black, gunmetal, white, blue, all types of colors. So you can actually you know make them fit in with your setup. Whereas with the Noctuas, they all always kind of stand out. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, you know, because people who know what you have, you know, you know, they know they have you, you have a cool fan and stuff, but I don't know, I'm leaning towards, in terms of aesthetics, towards this one at this point. Now, what I've done, I've daisy-chained some Molexes from my power supply to my desk, because I want to, you know, uh, test these fans out for noise, because noise is very important to me. Now, if you see a bit of duct tape here, it's no damage. I just, you know, pulled the peeling off it, for the peeling, the sleeving off it right now, and I wanted to, you know, put it back together in a hurry. The fan isn't damaged in any way. Now, the Noctua is going to be first. I'm going to shut up a bit so you guys can get it here for background noise. You know, the noise from the camera, from the PC next to the camera, all that stuff, right? Now, I'm going to plug in the Noctua and. I'll shut up so you guys can have a listen. I 
I've picked the fan up because uh, it isn't very stable and it's creating a lot of vibration. So I don't want I don't want you guys you know, to get a false reading. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm gonna get a bit Phoenix. Uh, boom. Um, they were both, uh, so there was supposed to be a difference of about 2 decibels between them in favor of the Nocturne. Nocturne was supposed to be a bit quieter. But if, if anything, I actually think that the Beat Phoenix is a bit quieter. Hmm. This is gonna be another test. Uh, but this time I've got a 7 volt reducer on, on uh, the, the Molex. Now the reason I did this is because I usually keep all my fans at 7 volts. So you know the 12 volt uh, noise isn't you know so important to me. So I'm just gonna plug this in, the, the Spectre Pro first. Now I'm really impressed, that's really really quiet. I'm just gonna put my ear closer to it. That that that's very very good. I mean, I barely I can barely hear it. Now let's do the Noctua. I don't know how this is gonna sound, you know, because of the mic on my camera, but personally, from like, I don't know, 30 centimeters away, 40 centimeters away, I can't tell the difference between them. They're both almost dead silent. And that's a that's very good for me. Now a lot of fans a lot of fans change their tone or their note once you know they're Put up against a heatsink or radiator. Now this fan is on. You can see it. It's a 12 volt, you know, spinning as fast as it can. I'm gonna put my hand on it, you know, just like this, so I can simulate, you know, some you know, radiator or heatsink. Right. So you can hear the change in tone. Now some fans are better at this. Some fans are worse. Personally, you know. The Noctua, I think, is doing a very good job at it. So let's see the Bit Phoenix now. So I have the Bit Phoenix right here, just like I had the Noctua before, you know, in my, in my hand. I'm holding it in my hand so you know, it doesn't vibrate off the table or stuff, stuff like that, you know? Okay, now, same thing. You no know, hand, and fan. I don't know if you can, guys can tell that on camera, but it's actually much louder. Now, the noise it makes, you know, just sitting like, like this, is actually, you know, a bit quieter than the Noctua. But once, put my hand, you know, just covering it like this, it gets much louder. Now, on a case, this one being quieter might be a better choice, but on a heat sink, uh, it's gonna be, you know, or, or on a radiator, I think it's gonna be louder. I can definitely know here uh, that, it, that it's louder. What I want to do, oh, just a second, you know, I just realized, just realized right now that plugged in with all the LEDs and with a black frame and the red, you know, inner frame, it's really sexy. Oh my God, look at that! <gasps> That's so cool. It's so fucking cool. That's gonna look great in my case with my red LEDs. Can't wait. You know, even if you look at it from the side like this, it, it, look, it looks like it's, you know, because of the black frame. It looks like it's on fire or some shit like that. It looks like amber, so it's fucking great. I love it! This is also a noise test with the fan blowing at the desk, you know, so almost completely covered. You know, this would be like, you know, an extreme uh, airflow test. Let's do the same thing. Let's. Now, the same thing with an Octua. 
it's also pretty loud. You know, that's to be expected. I mean, you're basically the air doesn't have anywhere to go. That's why it's, it's making all the noise. So I'm gonna use the Bit Phoenix as a case fan for now. What I might do, because I'm really curious about this, I'm gonna buy another one of these pretty soon, and I'm gonna try to replace the Noctua fans I have on my NHD14, just you know to see how well uh, you know they work. Because I'm really curious, because these fans don't really match my red case with their you know tan and brown colors so that's something to look forward in the future you know between Spectre Pros and Noctua and HD14 we'll see how that pans out well that was it see you guys